What is going on everybody? Welcome to Lunar Trading. In this video, I'll be going over my levels and plan for SPY next week. So let's jump right into it. SPY was down 3.38% today. After Jerome Powell spoke, we saw price crash down and no buyers were really stepping in through the whole day, which was unfortunate because I grabbed calls a couple different times expecting some buyers to maybe just step in, but we ultimately just slice through our support zones, making newer lows throughout the day. This is something that I've been talking about though in my previous videos. Keep watching out for this resistance zone. We touched right at the bottom of it in the pre-market and then immediately saw price rejection from that point. I was hoping for a retest later in the day, but I missed my opportunity, unfortunately. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Now levels to be watching is first, this support zone from 399 to 398 and then the second support zone from 391.5 to 389.5 also keep an eye on this trend line as an area of support as well for resistance levels i just want to be clear i have adjusted a lot of these levels from my previous videos but for resistance keep an eye on this area from 419.5 to 421 and then this second zone from 429.5 to 432. And I'll be watching this resistance trend line to see if it continues to get respected. I'll be looking to grab puts along it. And I'll also be watching this little bit of a longer time frame trend line as resistance. Now my plan going into next week is I do expect continued downside. We might see on Monday some consolidation happen, maybe Monday, Tuesday before seeing a drop farther. Or maybe we see a little dead cat bounce before heading further down. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something like this where we just keep gapping down, dropping rather quickly. I will only be looking to grab calls at these three areas since the bears are showing more role of price action. So if we do drop to this first support zone, I'll look for an opportunity to grab calls and the same for this zone or this trend line down here. The closer we get to this trend line though, I'm gonna position a little heavier into the calls, especially if we're right on it and in this zone, I'll probably go in pretty heavy for calls because we could see another pretty solid bounce. But if we begin to break underneath it, then I'll like to close out on my position. Now for the put side, I'm just gonna be playing off of this resistance trend line we come up and retest it i'll be looking to grab puts on those highs and the ride down if price does begin to break out above i will cut my position at a loss and wait till we move maybe back into this resistance level up here i'll probably go in this position with medium size and then if i play this zone up here i'll probably go in a little bit heavier or go in with medium size as well Today did beat me up pretty bad though, unfortunately. So I'm gonna be studying this weekend, gonna come in next week a lot stronger and a lot smarter. I recommend everybody do the same. That way we can continue to learn and grow as a individual and as a crew. I'll learn any trade I take in the Discord. Link in the description if you guys want to join that. I also have another trader in here giving out his alerts. He had a couple big plays today. One of them hit 500%, another one hit over 100% and then a 40% play. So join the Discord if you guys want to get in on those alerts. Like I said, link in the description. Also subscribe to the channel if you like these short and sweet technical videos. I try to do them daily just to provide you guys updates on what is going on in the market, my plan and levels. I really do appreciate all the support you guys have already shown, but I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and weekend. Take care crew.